Hey everybody, Steve here with Retro Tech, and we are back working on Sony and uh, Olympus style CRT Pro video monitors. Uh, these are video monitors, they're very high end, and um, so what I've got here though is the shell from one of those. This is a 13 inch monitor. Um, it's got this shell here and uh, it's got metal scrap written on it, so I'm going to have to repaint this. And in order to do that, I want to safely take this apart and take off this plastic back here. And to do that, um, I've got to remove these rivets back here. There are six in total. But I wanted to show you the techniques to do that. Uh, there probably is a specific tool to get these out, but you don't need that. There's probably a couple tools you have around your shop that will help you get these apart. So you can either clean really good between these two layers, or like me, you can repaint your shell. I do not recommend using this method to take apart the PVM while it's still assembled. I, I always recommend that you take this shell off and then disassemble uh, the shell in two this way. Don't just take the rivets off and take the shell off um, while it's all put together. You might risk damaging something doing that. But let's start with today's tools. So we need just two small uh, flathead screwdrivers and we'll take a close look at these in a second uh, so you can see we'll, we'll zoom in here and then I've also just got a real cup here so I can catch my rivets these are just plastic rivets and so uh, that's what I'm going to use to hold them here's a close-up look at the back of the monitor now I told you I had some screwdrivers and here they are just some flathead screwdrivers that I've got and this is a real simple task. So I'm going to just push this flathead edge around the middle of this rivet and then all of a sudden you'll see it splits in half. And it's supposed to split in half. That's how you get around it. So I take my first one and I move it to the side here and then I take my second one right in next to it and slide it around to the opposite side and then I just slowly pull up on that. Try not to pull the cap off but if you just slowly pull up on that and that's how you release that rivet safely. Okay, so there we've got the rivet. Now, a tip, if you're gonna go back and replace it, just make sure your rivets open like this, all the way, and then simply go back in that hole that you, that you took it out of earlier, and push it down in there, and then you simply pop it back into place to lock it. It's very easy and it should be no problem to do this many times if you need to, uh, but that's all you do to open it and change it. So when I'm taking this apart, when I'm taking this apart, I always change up the sides of the six because if you don't, you could put stress on one side. If you just start taking off one side, then the other side will still be in place. You could break these rivets because they are plastic and they are 20 to 25 years old usually. So you don't want to break them and have to deal with trying to find some other ones. But just take your time and that's how it's done and take it all apart. Okay, there you have it, safely removed. Now this can go get a nice cleaning and this thing can be primed and painted. Thanks again for watching today. I appreciate your support. Please like, share, and subscribe.